Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the camera gear that I use in my vlogs and for a lot of my photos. This is a video that I've had requested from quite a few people across YouTube and Instagram and they just kind of want to see what I am actually using for my entire setup. And I thought it would make a good video because it's not just a run of the mill, out of the box setup. I kind of pieced all of this stuff together and I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna show you what it is, why I like to use it, and where exactly you can buy it, and about how much this entire package will cost you. If you guys don't know much about me or this channel, I am a vlogger, I create content, mostly automotive around BMWs and car shows, and I do a lot of photography with cars as well. So I have to diversify what I'm doing when I'm creating content, and I needed versatility. I knew that out of this new camera setup, I wanted something that was easy to take around, not too large, um, rather light, it could take a little bit of a beating. I wouldn't have to worry about it if it did get damaged and the quality was good enough for my viewers. So, now let's talk about what I ended up with. I ended up going with the Canon EOS M3 mirrorless camera. And I'm gonna tell you guys the features that I absolutely love about this camera. Right off the bat, I absolutely love the fact that this camera has a flip up screen. So I can actually see myself while I'm talking into the camera, which I think is absolutely critical when you are creating vlogs, because you wanna make sure that you are in focus and that you are actually in the frame of the camera. Obviously, if you are creating content through the camera blind, you can't really tell what is in focus, what looks good and what doesn't. A lot of times with my old cameras, I would get all the way done with the video, I would get into the post-production editing part of it, and I would realize that I would have to remake the video because of the way that it was shot. Getting a screen is crucial. You, you definitely wanna make sure that you have a flip up screen on your camera when you are doing vlogging or creating content. The other thing that I absolutely loved about the Canon EOS M3 is that it had an external audio jack so I could put on my own microphone and not have to use the, the audio microphone within the camera body. So that was perfect for me and that was the exact setup that I wanted. Also in terms of quality, the quality of this camera is absolutely fantastic. It shoots at 1080. It doesn't do 4K, but you don't really need 4K. 4K is great, don't get me wrong, but you absolutely don't have to have it creating YouTube videos and Instagram content. People aren't gonna decide that they're not gonna watch your content because it's in 1080p and not 4K. I do think that somewhere down the line when I am doing this at a little bit larger of a scale, maybe I will invest into a 4K camera just to take it to that next level, but I'm telling you, if you're a beginner, you don't need 4K. 1080p is just fine for YouTube and Instagram. Next, I wanna talk about how this camera is used in my day-to-day -day vlogs and content creation. A lot of times I'm working around cars, I'm jumping in and out of cars, I'm doing photo shoots and video and installs. This thing is like in the engine bay sometimes. It gets knocked around quite a bit. And I've gotta be honest, the durability of this camera is fantastic. I've never had any issues with it. I've had it for about six, seven months now and it has honestly taken a beating. I've dropped it, it's been shuffled around in and out of bags, in cars, in trunks. And the reason that is so important to me is because it's just the nature of the content creation world that I'm in. That's the kind of content that I'm creating and those things are going to happen. So it's nice to know that if something even were to happen with this camera, it's not incredibly expensive, which leads me into my next point. This camera is not the most expensive camera. If you look on Amazon, you'll see right here that they have this camera with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens that comes with the camera, which is great. If I go down here, you'll see there's plenty of used options, 340, 340, 345, 349 all the way up to about 400 in very good condition. I actually bought this camera used and I've had zero problems. It's nice when you buy a used camera through Amazon, you're protected, you don't need to worry about anything. Honestly, buying a used camera is the way to go, in my opinion. I'm gonna let someone fork up the extra two, $300 off the bat and then they take that depreciation and I'll just buy it used. I'm totally fine with that. I have no problem with it, especially with the way that I have to use this camera, which I just explained to you guys. So as you can see, it's about $340, we'll say, we'll say $350 to be fair. That's like the median right here. So $350 to get into this camera. It comes with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which is great. I honestly don't use the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Sometimes it's great to use for photos, but for video, I actually prefer to use a different setup. So when it comes to actual camera lenses, I have found that this is the best lens 
for my setup in general. It's the Canon EFM 11 to 22 millimeter lens. I needed something that was very wide and versatile. I could do video with it and shoot with it and it was steady. This lens is absolutely perfect and it also doesn't break the bank. I know some people out there who are creating content that have thousand dollar cameras and thousands and thousands of dollars in lenses. Some lenses can cost $5,000. That's like as much as a car. This lens is $350 and it works absolutely flawlessly. I also love that it has a really wide spectrum. And this is great because my arm is only so long, right? Well, I mean, it looks really, it looks really long in this lens because it's wide. My arm is only so long. So when you're holding it to vlog, you want something that is super wide and it's gonna get as much picture in the frame while you're vlogging. This lens does exactly that. So as you can see on the screen, it is $350 for this lens. I paid about $350 for the body. You're in about $700 right now for this entire setup, which is actually really good. So moving along from the actual lens, the next thing I needed was a microphone. I needed an audio microphone that was versatile, small, and I could just take it anywhere with me, but it had good quality. It didn't break the bank either. This Rode Video Micro Compact microphone is absolutely perfect. It comes with everything you need. It comes with the shock mount, the microphone, the cabling, and then also it comes with the furry little windshield that kind of just blocks all of the wind and external noise when you are actually making videos outside. It works absolutely flawlessly. I've had this entire setup for about six, seven months or something. Everything is working great. So this microphone is only $58 on Amazon. We'll round that up to 60. So our total so far in is $760 for basically an entire vlog setup. I'm able to create video content and I'm able to take pretty good photos. I am by no means a professional when it comes to photography. I am still new to this whole game. I just have a lot of fun with my craft and learning along the way when I'm doing photography. And I also love like the editing aspect of it. I'll throw up a couple of photos right here for you guys so you can kind of get a feel for my style. All right, so the last part of this whole package that you don't necessarily have to have, but I absolutely love having it. It just makes creating vlogs and content 10 times easier is the Joby Gorillapod 3K kit. The reason I picked this one is because it's made for mirrorless cameras, lighter cameras. The functionality of it is great. You can put it on like your headrest. You can hang it from like a tree if you wanted to. You can really put it anywhere and it holds the camera. It's super secure. It locks. It's easy to take on and off. I actually went through a few different tripod stands like this and they were all trash. I kept trying to like cheap out and spend like $20, $30. This one is absolutely perfect for $45. I love it, I'm all in on it. I have no problem spending that amount of money. So yeah, you guys, in a nutshell, that is my entire setup. That's what I use for everything. And it's honestly the perfect little package for when I'm running around out in the field, making videos, doing photos, going to car shows, and doing interviews with other people. Like I am constantly having to switch gears and this camera is like the perfect setup for that situation. So let's talk about the final cost, $805 about to get into this entire setup, which is actually really, really, really good. When it comes to the cost of most cameras and people who are creating content professionally, they're spending thousands and thousands of dollars. Some cameras cost up to $20,000. So for me to be able to create content daily with my current setup, take my photos, switch gears, do video, for $805 all in, Probably one of the best investments I've ever made, especially into myself and what I'm doing with my content. Anytime you guys are starting out with YouTube or creating content on Instagram, it's really important that first get your feet wet a little bit and get used to actually creating the content using whatever camera you have and decide if this is something that you actually want to do full time or invest in or try and make a living with it or even just a serious hobby for yourself before you go out and spend a bunch of money. After a few months of creating content, I knew for sure that this was something that I wanted to do and that I was really, really passionate about it and I actually loved the process of everything, meeting people, talking in camera, coming up with ideas, editing, I loved all of it. So I knew that I was ready to invest into myself and this project. And that was why I went for an $805 package of everything that I have here. I can't say that this will all remain the same. I'm sure as I grow, I'll eventually want something that is even better quality. Maybe I will want 4K someday, but for right now where I'm at, about a year into content creation, this is the perfect setup for me. 
I love it. It's light, it's durable, it doesn't cost too much, it's versatile, it handles so many different kinds of situations. It's the perfect setup for what I'm doing when it comes to creating vlogs, doing installs, reviews, and even content for Instagram. All right, you guys, so that is my entire setup. Hopefully this helps you guys when it comes to making a decision for yourself video, photo, whatever it may be. I'm just trying to lead you guys in the right direction. I know when I first started out, I couldn't find any of this information all in one video. That's why I'm making this video. So maybe I can help some of you guys out in the future, kind of get you into a really good setup from the get-go and you'll be set for a long time. As always guys, all of these products that we just talked about here today, I'm gonna put links in the description to every single one. If you wanna go to Amazon and pick them up for yourself, get started with your own vlogs or content creation. I really think that the quality of your content is super important when it comes to your growth on YouTube and Instagram. Obviously the ideas and the actual content itself is very important, but the quality is what will keep people around. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you are new here, please do subscribe, like this video, comment down below, hit that bell notification just like that. This video is over and I'm out. Peace.